Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are jumping into a fun project, designing a modern conference room. And you know the what the start of this room is? Mm, yeah, the TV wall. In a conference room, the whole point is to keep focus in one direction. No distraction and no wandering eyes. All attention needs to be on one spot. So let's roll up our sleeves and start building this TV wall step by step. We'll start with the front wall. First, I mark 1000 mm from the side, then 3000 mm and add uh, on the corner uh, we have got another 1000 mm. I draw a rectangle here. And to make my life easier, I'm going to hide this rectangle for now. Next, I copy a simple line with the right spacing here. Now I draw a rectangle size 30 by 3000 millimeters. On this rectangle, I add a 5 millimeter line, then a 60 millimeter lines. And then I draw an arc here with a radius of 50 millimeters and uh, another 5 millimeter lines. I select them all, uh, copy and type X66. Boom! We have 66 copies all the way to the end. Now I clean up the extra line, extend the main one and let the unnecessary parts and now group it and push it 3000 millimeters by push pull tools. And just like that, we've got a sleek modern panel in no time. Now let's add another layers on the wall. I mark 500 millimeters from both sides. From the bottom, I mark 1000 millimeter. I draw a rectangle, copy it, and uh, extrude it 60 millimeters. Then I mark 350 millimeter from each side. Add two lines with line tools and copy another line at 7 millimeters. I copy this whole section across to the other side of the wall, then again copy at 100 millimeters and repeat for the other side. From the top, I mark 350 millimeters, draw a horizontal line, copy one more at 7 millimeters distance. Now delete the extra lines, push the section uh, 5 millimeters inside and group it. Now I place the panel on the wall. The height looks short, so I add 500 millimeters. It looks better. I had the first panel, move this one into place and with a 3, 30 millimeters gap, clean up the lines, then unhide the first panel. Look at that, really nice, right? I am leaving both side walls empty because remember the focus should be right in the middle. On this side wall though I'll keep the keep it simple. Just a few vertical lines with an irregular rhythm that way it feels modern but not distracting. I'll hold this wall um, while I'm working on side wall. It's better. Now let's divide the wall step by step. First, I mark 1000 millimeters, then 150 millimeters, 1500, 300, 
1000 millimeters 150 1500 and finally 200 millimeters I draw one big rectangle here add vertical lines with line tools and copy each one uh, 7 millimeters apart I keep going for all the section, delete the extra lines and then extrude everything 60 millimeters. Now I unhide the earlier hidden parts, moving up to the ceiling. I want it simple too and uh, I use the uh, offset tools and I offset 700 millimeters. Copy a line 100 millimeters away and uh, do it the same on the opposite side. Now delete the extra lines, push this part slightly inside and that's where the spotlights will go. For the rest of the ceiling I'll add more lights later. Now the fun part, materials. For the panels, I use a dark wood finish, like this. For the center wall, gets, I use a light gray color. The two side walls uh, get an even layer uh, tones. Um, I'll test a couple of shades to see what feel right. The vertical lines Mm, I use black color so they pop nicely. Now I group everything. The floor gets a carpet texture. Now I rotate it 90 degrees so it looks natural. For the ceiling, uh, for some ceiling sections, I also use black color. And here we are, the conference room is complete. It's modern, sharp and absolutely eye-catching. I'll still add a few objects to make it feel finished, but since that takes a lot of time, I'll post the video here. Now just take a look, the ceiling, the wall and the side walls. Everything comes together beautifully. And that wraps up our conference room design. We turned a simple room into a modern, functional space with a bold TV wall as the star of the show. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the, that like button, subscribe for more design tutorials, and drop a comment telling me what space I should design next. Thanks for hanging out with me today and see you in the next one.